Hey everybody, it's Lon Saib and we've got another unboxing today. This is a sound bar from Vizio that came in through the Amazon Vine program. And what intrigued me about this one is that it is more than just a single sound bar. I'm gonna put this knife down before I hurt myself. Uh, you have the sound bar unit itself. You've got a subwoofer and rear speakers. So it doesn't do any kind of sound bouncing or any crazy stuff like that. You've got actual speakers in the back and it will presumably uh, be pretty easy to set up. How it sounds, we'll find out when I review this product, which you can find on my main channel in a couple of days at lon.tv, L-O-N.tv. And I really like how they package this because you do have a very uh, long component, the sound bar component, and rather than making a box with a lot of wasted space, they made it so they could uh, kind of piece them together like Tetris pieces on the shipping container. This saves a lot of money by uh, getting creative about your packaging because you're not shipping air, uh, you're shipping actual product, which brings down your cost of uh, overall shipment there. So let's see how to unbox this thing here. There's like some uh, varying components to this. I'm just going to uh, cut away these little uh, portions here and hopefully this will just kind of uh, open up for us and we can get a look inside at what all of this stuff compo is composed of. Now uh, what you do with this is you hook your DVD player uh, or your Blu-ray player up to it and then up to your television so all the sound passes through here and then it releases the audio um, into the speakers so the video goes to your television and the audio goes to the speakers that are a part of this and you don't have to wire up the subwoofer or the uh, rear satellites because it is all wireless up to uh, those devices. It's um, wired on the other components. So that is how that comes together. So let's see here. We can get this stuff out of here. So this is the accessory pack. And inside of this, ooh, look at all these cables that we've got in here. So let's take a look. We've got, I like it when they give you the cables. That is always a good thing. So we have a remote control here. Uh, batteries included. You've got the HDMI cable, which is always nice to see. Uh, some screws for something. Just some Velcro in here. What is this? This is an optical cable, too. They just give you everything in this box. That's really cool. You get uh, a power adapter here. Look at this. RCA cables. So we got all those that we need. And uh, it looks like uh, power adapters and I think this might be speaker wire, maybe optional speaker wire for uh, the rears perhaps. So we'll have to find out when we plug all this stuff in and then some brackets if you want to put it on a wall. So that is very nice to see that they give you all of this stuff in here. So let's see if I can figure out a way to get this thing out of the box without uh, killing myself on camera here. So I'm going to maybe pull at this part here. Let's see. All right, there we go. So it doesn't want to give up its secrets too easily. And I'm trying to preserve the box so I can pack this up later. Uh, we might do a giveaway with this or uh, there might be somebody who may uh, want this locally. So uh, this is the sound bar component and it's rather large because it's going to incorporate your center channel speaker as well as uh, all the uh, side, the uh, two left and right speakers as well. So you've got presumably uh, center in the center and then the uh, left and the right on here. Now on the bottom here, this is so unrecursed, but I'm just kind of going off, off, off the cuff here. So on the bottom here, we have an ethernet jack. I guess you can hook it up to your network and we'll explore that in the review. Uh, analog inputs over here. And this is the biggest issue that I see with these things is that you only get a single HDMI input. So if you have a game console and a Blu-ray player, you're kind of out of luck. So um, that's the one issue with these. They're really um, thinking about people that only have one device to plug in. Uh, people like me, and perhaps those of you watching, have many more than a single device. That's been my biggest uh, fault with these things. But uh, it seems to be pretty well built. So let's get the rest of the components out. These are the satellite speakers. And remember, these are supposedly wireless, so we'll be exploring this in greater detail. But there you go. There is a plug on the back of them, though, so I wonder... I wonder if it's just the subwoofer that's wireless. I need to investigate further here. And by the way, it works with Google Cast, which is right on the box there. So I was missing that before. And this is why I, I typically don't look at products until I've had time to really play with them. But I figured a lot of you like to see these unboxings. So that is why we're doing this kind of off the cuff here. So this is the subwoofer. I have a small subwoofer. And let's see what we have in here. Let 
Again, trying not to break everything as I take it out. It's more fun to unbox it than it is to rebox it, unfortunately. All right, so this is the subwoofer, and this is wireless I, for, for a fact. I need to look back up on those speakers to see if they are as well. And this is it, looks pretty, actually, you know what? It's, it feels really well built, actually. Um, really nice construction on these things. I'm guessing you can, oh, I see. So this is how it works. So the subwoofer is wireless, but the rear channel speakers plug into the back of it here. That's how this works. So you pair the, uh, the subwoofer up with the, uh, the center piece there, and then uh, those rear channels have to be plugged into the subwoofers. So this will go in the back of your room. And uh, we're gonna hook this up in my home theater nook in a little while. And that's it, that's the unboxing. So uh, what we're gonna do is, well, I'm, what I'm gonna do is uh, play with this today and uh, mess around with it a little bit. And then when I'm done, I will have a review up probably in the next couple of days and let you know what I think about it. So definitely tune in at lon.tv. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter, Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.